So today we'll see like how to fix the error. If you see this, the user interface is not able to show on the application. So guys, have you ever encountered the frustrating message on the FIAM application which says that if you see this, the user interface is not able to show. So that means that there is some problem preventing the interface from appearing correctly. Okay. So sometimes the full message shows as if you see this, the user interface isn't able to show. Okay. So now let's see like how to overcome that error and how you can fix that particular error. Okay. So we'll see like what causes that particular error. If you see this, the user interface is not able to show on FIAM application. Okay. So as per the report, this error occurred when user tried to log in and you will see that particular message within a few minutes, within five to 10 minutes or five to 20 minutes, it shows the pop up. Like if you see this, the user interface isn't able to show. Okay, so here you can see the particular screenshot which I have already told you. If you see this, the user interface is isn't able to show. Okay, so uh, we'll see what exactly causes this error and how you can come out of this. So, firstly, what you have to do is like you have to check the system record. There will be some kind of specifications or some kind of configurations which is required for the system whenever you are trying to use this particular FIAM application. So make sure that your CPU is meeting the particular criteria with minimum 2.4 gigahertz or AMD Phenom 9850 at 2.5 gigahertz if it is an intel core if you are if you are using a intel core processor then it should be intel core 2 q double six double zero under eight 2.4 gigahertz and the gpu is nvidia 9800 gt minimum of 1 gb or if it is amd hd 4870 with minimum of 1 GB or if you are using an Intel that is HD G2 GT2 okay and the minimum RAM requirement is minimum 8 GB and make sure that you are having a uh, hard disk of minimum 105 GB at least minimum of 128 GB okay so this is the recommended uh, specification or the system requirement if you are trying to use the FIAM application and uh, the CPU is minimum Intel i5 3470 at the rate 3.2 gigahertz okay suppose if you are using the system specifically for FIAM like minimum it should have a GP of this or if you are using a AMD, uh, it should be like x8 fx hyphen 8350 at the rate 4 gigahertz with the GPU of NVIDIA GTX 660 of minimum 2 GB or if you are using a AMD of uh, HD 7820 of minimum 2 GB and uh, if you are using FIAM application make sure like your RAM is minimum 16 GB RAM is meeting the particular criteria or the minimum specification okay and also finally the hard disk drive is minimum of minimum of 128 GB is a good for FIAM application and make sure like you are updating your graphic drivers because whenever you are trying to use the system for a gaming application like uh, graphic drivers uh, is a must and should and it should be updated one uh, if you are using NVIDIA or NVIDIA or AMD okay so visit the manufacturer's official website and look for drivers and support section 
find the latest drivers for your specific graphic cards and download and install the updated drivers okay so once you are done with all this make sure like you restart your system so that the all the changes will be applied to your system so that you can start using your fire application okay and uh, the third step is to install the microsoft directx so installing microsoft directx can potentially solve this particular issue so what you can do is like you can directly download that or you can download and install the microsoft directx from this particular official website so that you can install it on your system so that uh, you will not be facing any kind of that particular okay so this is the website microsoft.com you can visit this particular website and you can install the microsoft directx okay so uninstall and reinstall the fine application so that is the fourth solution if you are facing the particular issue of uh, if you see this the user interface isn't able to show so make sure like you better uninstall the fine application then reinstall the fine application with all the new configurations with all the minimum requirement which you have made for your system okay so that can be done by you can press windows plus i key on the keyboard then go to apps in that particular in that particular tab then search for pym application then uninstall that particular pym application then again if you want to install that particular software or application you can visit the pym official website you can download the latest software or application of pym then finally you can install it on your system then you can probably use that uh, software application once you are done with all this once you are followed all these steps okay and finally if you are facing any kind of other issues kindly visit the official support team of pym application what you can do is like you can directly go to google.com you can type pym support team contact pym support just paste it here once you paste it here you can see if you click on this particular first link you can see like this you can here search for whatever the issues you are facing or if you want to raise any kind of other ticket what you can do is like you can just click on this second option that is a submit a request once you go to that particular site once it is redirected to this particular site here you can see different different options like providing a feedback if you want to provide any feedback or if you want to submit a cheat or a hack or if you want any kind of other help or support here you can see different different options like blocked server patreon subscriptions report a vulnerability or ex exploit if you find any kind of bugs or anything you can also inform that particular team so that they will take it then they will adopt it and they will make it resolved for that particular application on its software okay so this is how you can uh, follow in order to overcome that particular error which says if you see this the user interface is not able